Prerna and you are watching the legal path. With this video we are going to start with UGC NET paper 1 unit 1 series that is teaching aptitude. So let's quickly start with the video. In this video we are going to cover concept, objectives, levels and variables of teaching. Starting with the concept, we can say कि teaching एक process है because it is continuous and is not an act. इसका main function है learning को effective बनाना. So now we can say that teaching and learning both go hand in hand but this does not mean that there can be no learning without teaching. Talking about the objectives of teaching, so it has three main objectives. Number one, ye learners ke behavior ko shape karte hai so that the desired result could be achieved. Unke andar knowledge or values ko impart karte hai aur unki learning skills ko improve karte hai. Our next topic is levels of teaching. So there are three levels of teaching. At the base we have memory level. In the middle there is understanding and at the topmost is reflexive level of teaching. So starting with the memory level of teaching. Iske supporter hai Herbert aur iske objectives hai learners ke andar knowledge or information impart karna jise hum memorization or rote learning bhi kehte hain ab memorization technique kabhi kabhar bahut zyada boring aur difficult ho jati hai to teacher ko matter ko properly structure or organize kar lena chahiye so that it becomes easier for the learners to memorize the things अब इस टेक्निक को इफेक्टिव बनाने के लिए मेथड्स व्हिच आर जनरली यूज्ड आर ड्रिल रिव्यू रिवीजन बार-बार चीजों को याद करना देखना बार-बार पढ़ना मेमोराइजेशन को इजी बना देते हैं अब इस लेवल ऑफ टीचिंग पे टीचर एक एक्टिव अथॉरिटेटिव और डोमिनेटिंग रोल प्ले करते हैं जबकि लर्नर एक पैसिव रोल प्ले करते हैं दिस लेवल ऑफ टीचिंग इज मोर एप्लीकेबल in young children ya fir imparting of factual knowledge or new concept building or understanding or reflective level pe jaane se pehle memorization technique bahut zaruri hai now second level of teaching is understanding the main objective is to comprehend and understand the factual information which is provided at memory level iske methods and lectures discussions exemplification and explanation for example aapko memory level pe bataya gaya hai information di gayi hai ki herbivores are animals which eat only green leaves carnivores are which eat only flesh and omnivores are both then at this level these factual information will be explained to you with the help of examples like cow and buffalo ye sirf green leaves khate hain isliye ye herbivores hain so that you are in a position to understand the factual information which is provided to you talking about the role in this type of level teacher plays a prominent role and learners also play an active and cognitive role ये लेवल इफेक्टिव लर्निंग को प्रमोट करते हैं बिकॉज़ योर लर्निंग थ्रू एग्जांपल्स एंड एक्सप्लेनेशंस टैप्स योर इंटेलेक्चुअल एबिलिटीज और इंटरेक्शन को प्रमोट करके एक रिफ्लेक्टिव लेवल ऑफ टीचिंग के लिए दैट इज द हाईएस्ट लेवल ऑफ टीचिंग के लिए रूम सेट करते हैं द लास्ट एंड द टॉप मोस्ट लेवल ऑफ टीचिंग इज रिफ्लेक्टिव इसका ऑब्जेक्टिव है आपकी क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग और डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर को स्ट्रॉन्ग करना इसके एक्सपोनेंट है हंट एंड द फीचर ऑफ दिस लेवल इज अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड ओपन एंडेड टीचिंग 
For effective teaching at this level, the methods adopted are problem solving. That is learner को एक problem दे दी जाती है as to why these herbivorous animals eat only green leaves. So they do experiment, acquire, inquiry and analytically analyze the statement that why is it so. इस level of teaching में learners और teachers दोनों ही active role play करते हैं This level of teaching helps in tapping the creativity skills and problem solving skills of a learner. इसी वजह से हम इसे learner centered approach भी कहते हैं And finally, we are at the last topic of today's video that is requirements or variables of teaching. There are three variables of teaching which is independent, dependent and intervening. Independent is teacher. A teacher as per his teaching style padhata hai learners ko isliye ye independent variable hai aur learners ek teacher pe depend hote hain isliye ye dependent variable hai. Beech mein intervening variable such as teaching methods, environment एक्सेट्रा रोल प्ले करते हैं एक टीचिंग प्रोसेस को इफेक्टिव और एफिशिएंट बनाने के लिए फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आप बहुत अनकंफर्टेबल सराउंडिंग्स में पढ़ रहे हो इट मे बी ड्यू टू टेम्परेचर और अ नॉइजी प्लेस इसकी वजह से एक एफिशिएंट टीच प्रोसेस पॉसिबल नहीं होगी सो दीज थ्री वेरिएबल्स play an important role for making teaching an effective exercise so this was all about part 1 of the video we will soon be back with part 2 i hope aapko ye video pasand aaya hoga see you in the next video bye